Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EJ and welcome to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing division of polynomials using synthetic division. So let's have first the division algorithm for polynomials. So if P of X, the dividend, and D of X, the divisor, are polynomials, and D of X, the divisor, is not equal to zero, then there exists unique polynomials Q of X or the quotient and R of X the remainder such that P of X divided by D of X is equal to Q of X plus R of X divided by D of X. Or P of X is equal to Q of X times D of X plus R of X where R of X is either 0 or of degree less than that of D of X. So let's have our first example. Divide 6X to the third power plus 11X squared minus 4X minus 9 divided by X plus 2. So the first step is to equate the divisor to 0 then solve for X. So we have X plus 2 is equal to 0 and then after that, we will transpose positive 2, it will become negative 2. So x will be equal to negative 2, and then we will use negative 2, and we will write it here, and then we will get the numerical coefficient of each term of our dividend. So the numerical coefficient of our cubic term is positive 6. So we will write positive 6 here. The numerical coefficient of our quadratic term is equal to 11 and the numerical coefficient of our linear term is equal to negative 4 and the numerical coefficient of the constant term is negative 9 and then after that we will draw a line here bring down 6 and then multiply 6 times negative 2 the answer is equal to negative 12 and then we will perform addition so 11 plus negative 12 will be equal to negative 1 and then we will multiply negative 1 times negative 2 which is equal to positive 2 and then negative 4 plus 2 will be equal to negative 2 and then again we will multiply negative 2 times negative 2 which is equal to positive 4 and then again we will add negative 9 plus 4 will be equal to negative 5. Now to get the quotient, we will write 6 as our numerical coefficient followed by x and then we will subtract the highest degree of polynomial of our dividend which is 3 by 1. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 that is to the second power. So 6x to the second power. So 2 will be our exponent. So 6x squared will be the leading term of our quotient followed by negative 1 which will be negative x and then the exponent will be equal to the first power. So we will subtract the exponent of our leading term by 1 and that is to the first power and then followed by negative 2 the constant term and negative 5 will be the value of our remainder. So the quotient is 6x to the second power minus x minus 2 remainder negative 5. Therefore, if we will write it in division algorithm form, so we have the dividend which is equal to 6x to the third power plus 11x squared minus 4x minus 9 equals the quotient which is equal to 6x squared minus x minus 2 times the divisor which is equal to x plus 2 minus 5 which is the remainder. So let's have our second example. Divide x to the fourth power plus 3x to the third power minus 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. So the first step again is to equate the divisor to 0 then solve for x. So we have x minus 2 is equal to 0 and then we will transpose negative 2 it will become positive 2. So x will be equal to 2 and then we will write 2 here. After that, we will get the numerical coefficient of each term of the dividend. 
So we have the numerical coefficient of our quartic term, which is equal to 1. The numerical coefficient of our cubic term, which is equal to positive 3. The numerical coefficient of our quadratic term, which is equal to 0. So the quadratic term here is missing. So therefore, we will write 0 as the value of the numerical coefficient. And then after that, the numerical coefficient of our linear term is equal to negative 3. And then the numerical coefficient of our constant term is equal to positive 2. And then we will draw a line here. We will bring down positive 1. And then we will multiply 1 times 2, which is equal to 2. And then we will add 3 plus 2 will be equal to 5. And then 5 times 2 will be equal to 10. Again, we will add. So 0 plus 10 will be equal to 10. And then multiply 10 times 2, which is equal to 20. And then again, we will add. So negative 3 plus 20 will be equal to positive 17. And then 17 times 2 will be equal to positive 34. And then again, perform addition. So 2 plus 34 will be equal to 36. Now to get the quotient, we will write 1 as our numerical coefficient followed by x. So we have 1x and the exponent will be the value of the highest degree of the polynomial of our dividend. So we have 4th degree as the highest degree of polynomial. So 4 minus 1 will be equal to 3. So the exponent will be equal to the third power. So that will be 1x to the third power or x to the third power. And then after that, we will get 5 as the numerical coefficient. So we have 5x squared. We will subtract the exponent by 1. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So, and then after that, you will get the numerical coefficient of positive 10 followed by x. So that will be 10x plus 17, which is the linear term, remainder 36. So the quotient is x to the third power plus 5x squared plus 10x plus 17, remainder 36. So if we will write it in division algorithm form, therefore x to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus 3x plus 2, the dividend equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 10x plus 17, the quotient times x minus 2, the divisor, plus 36, which is the remainder.